What do you see this long? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dislocate his shoulder, too. He's going to knock him over. It's like seven years sort of old again. Yeah, I think he's seven. Thank God. It's like reviving an old man. You can be a good start dog on this one. <laughs> hey! Fuck it! Hey! Hey! Oh shit, I didn't get it. Out! Okay. All right. So you see, I got cheat notes all over here because when I judge, I try to go by the same type of uh, information that's written in the rule book. That way, it's a little easier on everybody when they're training. They know what they're looking for and what I see and stuff. So again, talking about TSB, uh, a dog who is truly what we would call pronounced. Uh, it has a sense of physical strength. It kind of fits that, doesn't it? <laughs> a sense of psychological strength. You know, the dog didn't really have a problem with anything Richard did. And I'll tell you, as we get a little further along about that next part, inner confidence and fearlessness, urge to dominate hardness. So a self-confident, tense, goal-oriented, with secure grips, holding, and no negative reaction to stick hits, close and attentive watching, the holding, and guarding phases. So, what I just described there is what came out of the book for pronounced. And, uh, you know, th there was a point, I don't know if you guys could hear it back here, but on uh, the escape bite, and, and I've been there myself doing help work, you get a big dog who bites really hard, and he gets just a little bit away from you and your feet in the slippery stuff, you know, because I heard Richard go, ah, I'm thinking, I've been there. And you're, you're, that, that's about the time your back is like going, <laughs> it's going away, it's not supposed to go. So, he's powerful, physical strength is there. Uh, I got to take points away because the long catch, the, the grip wasn't so good, but I, I was telling Arthur, I, I was reasonably impressed. The dog did not get a grip on the bite bar, but he compressed that sleeve. You know, I like to see your arm later on. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's a, he's a nice dog. The work he did out there was, in my opinion, was very nice. So search for helpers, okay, hold and uh, bark. The dog, when he came in, he just kind of put his nose on the sleeve a little bit. Uh, didn't really bite, but nonetheless, he, he, he touched him just a little bit. On, uh, on the call out, he was a little bit in front of you, not a big deal. But uh, the escape was good, strong. Uh, defense was really good. He took the stick, and I, Richard hit him really hard. Uh, you guys probably all heard the stick hits. It wasn't like we're like tapping a dog. He, and no offense, it was a lot stronger with this dog than it was the first two dogs. Okay, uh, so he put the put the wood to him, so to speak. And uh, the attack out of motion. That's why I said that was the biggest thing was it should have had a fuller grip. Uh, but the dog didn't slip. Tried to compress that much stronger. So to me, the dog is truly pronounced in uh, 96 points. <laughs>